we are making a video on debian 12 so this is a, a live boot or the live iso file i downloaded from the official website so i am going to show you the release notes release announcement and uh, the live boot downloading process all the things in this video installation everything i will cover everything so this is a live boot let's quickly launch it in a live boot i already made uh, all the desktop environment of a debian 12 so if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel again it's going to take like a maximum of a one minute or minimum of 30 to 40 seconds to load up the desktop layout and i forgot to mention that i'm running it on a vmware which is a virtualization with a 4 gb of ram 80 gb of hard disk and my cpu is a 12th gen i5 so as you can see it loaded almost debian 12 still few more seconds and we should be seeing our desktop layout and the desktop environment for this video is like a lxqt so i already made the xfc video today so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video so i already made like a uh, four other desktop environment uh, including xfc gnome kde plasma mat and cinnamon so there is one uh, desktop environment left which is a lxde i will be making that uh, in the tomorrow video so if you want you can subscribe and check that out in the tomorrow's video almost a few more seconds and we should be seeing our lightweight desktop environment which is uh, lxqt again debian 12 was released like a few days ago which is like a, a week i guess so you can compare uh, in my channel of the debian 12 desktop environments uh, and choose your uh, favorite desktop environment of uh, debian 12 and i'm going to show you the first uh, live boot not the direct installation process uh, it's always a good option to always uh, boot it even if it's a stable release go with the live boot first and then go with the installation after you're satisfied because sometimes uh, the there will be some bugs not every time sometimes so as you can see we are seeing a mouse pointer here that means a few more seconds to load up the desktop layout which is lxqt usually it shouldn't take that much of uh, this much of time but uh, i don't know what's taking it long even the xfc all the other desktop environment also took uh, this much of uh, time it's almost like a 35 seconds or 40 seconds uh, we are still not seeing our desktop environment or the desktop mouse pointer is working uh, buttery smooth but there is no desktop still and here is our desktop it took almost like a 45 to 50 seconds let's quickly change the display resolution let's open the application menu preference lxqt settings monitor settings and let's change it to 1920 into 1080 if it's available it's available let's close all the pop-ups and change the display resolution first click on yes so let's first open the uh, task manager because we need to see how much of uh, resources uh, it consumes in the beginning of the video and at the middle of the video and end of the video i'm going to open the uh, every time so you can properly see how much of resources are consuming cpu right now are like uh, here you can see 4.7 2.3 percent and ram is here almost uh, 810 mb of uh, 4 gb so these are all the process running right now i'm going to open the task manager in the middle because uh, let's open all the apps and uh, see how much of resources it consumes xfc, XFC desktop environment took like a 1.8 gb to 2.2 gb after opening the apps in the beginning it was like a 1.1 uh, gb or 1.2 gb at the end of the video it was like a 1.4 gb uh, you can check it out in my channel there is already a video in it i already made a video of debian 12 xfc so you can check that out so let's open the uh, terminal let's first check the about lxqt it's a 1.2.0 version let's open the terminal now 
Just type in few commands to get the destroy info. It's a 1.2.0 version. So let's type in the command which is inxi-sv8. This is the command which will grab complete destroy info, but uh, it is not found in here. So let's type in cat etc colon slash issue. It's a Debian new Linux 12. Let's see the kernel version, which is 6.1.0-9. This is the kernel version. So let's exit this thing. And let's open the internet browser and I'm going to show you how to download the uh, Debian 12 live ISO file. And also the release note also. It should take few more seconds to load up the Firefox web browser. Usually it takes like uh, 10 seconds or 12 seconds. Here is our Firefox web browser. Let's first check the version, which should be like a 102. You can update it uh, later if you want. It's a 102.11. Let's type in the search term, which is a Debian. I'm using a VPN, so you will be seeing like this if you use a VPN. So this is the official website, which is a Debian.org. I'm using a VPN so it will be a bit slow so if you want to directly download you can download it here there will be no uh, live boot ISO files here so I'm going to show you that so this is the release note so these are all the updated things as you can see if you want you can go through all this uh, by going to their official website so let's uh, click on download so as you can see there is a net install iso file so we don't need this uh, we need uh, we need to go to the getting debian here like uh, other installers under other installers or usb sticks if you want let's go to the getting debian so these are all the iso files available for you like a torrent http all the things cloud image like that a small installation image or the complete installation image let's go to the complete installation image so these are all the available uh, links let's go to the http if you want torrent you can go to this let's go to http let's go to the official cd or dvd images of the stable release so this is a 700 mb file size and this is a 4.7 gb which is complete so let's go to the amd64 here let's scroll it down as you can see there is a dvd iso file which is 3.7 gb we need to uh, download the live boot so we can test it first and then go with the installation so you need to go to parent directory click on parent directory again click on parent directory and click until you will see a 12.0.0 live or current live like this let's go to the 12.0 live amd64 ISO hybrid so as you can see all the desktop environments uh, with the live ISO boot file size are here let's sort it the size so these are all the ISO files as you can see I made a KDE Plasma GNOME Cinnamon Match uh, right now we are doing LXQT and XFC is already done LXDE and standard will be uh, in the tomorrow's video or like uh, two three days uh, after so let's click on LXQT the other desktop environments will be available in few days so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and uh, wait for that so this is the downloading process so it's a 3.1 GB size so that was the uh, release note and the uh, downloading process of a Debian 12 live boot so let's close it and let's go to the installation process let's quickly uh, quickly open the installer execute i think the password should be like a l i v e
and i think it's correct you, you should be seeing a uh, installer launched in a few seconds the password is live which is live and here is our calamaris installer i'm going to show you just the installation process not the complete uh, installation process i'm just going to i'm just going to show you the basic or the formality of installation i'm not going to install it so first you need to choose your language again this is the basic or the not so complicated uh, installation process there is nothing complicated here just the basic things you need to complete choose your language first click on next and the location you can do that by like this or uh, there is a drop down menu or the uh, more uh, map pointer you can choose anything other customization things if you want to customize you can customize on your own click on next after you finished keyboard layout choose your keyboard you can test it here by typing click on next choose your hard disk first here if you have a multiple hard disk you should be seeing uh, two uh, options i'm using it on a vmware so i am seeing a vmware virtual 80 gb if you want to delete the current operating system and uh, want to install the debian 12 lxqt you need to choose this option because it will uh, delete everything including the uh, media files all the important things you have uh, even the current operating system so be careful while doing this you need to have an idea of what you're doing here so if you want dual boot you can go with the manual uh, manual partitioning so this is the uh, to encrypt your system you need to provide the password which should be same in the both the boxes so if you don't want you can just uncheck that and you need to choose your bootloader location if you want to choose it automatically or you can do that later by do not install a bootloader location like that click on next after you satisfied after you to choosing everything you need to provide your username and uh, password i'm choosing the simple username and app password you need to provide the strong password and write down the password because if you forget it will be painful so these are all the uh, things which should be filled if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark if something is wrong you should be seeing like this let's click on next this is the summary of what we chose in the previous installation steps so everything is good click on install it's going to take a few seconds a few minutes and uh, it should be installed in your main pc or the vmware virtual box whatever you choose so that's the installation process let's uh, quickly check out some of the features like desktop features uh, calendar date and time volume devices or disk notifications language clipboard power off and button all the things Let's quickly see the uh, task manager and let's see how much uh, good the Debian 12 LXQT will handle by launching some of the apps. There is not a lot of apps in the uh, LXQT because it's a lightweight desktop environment. You should be seeing like a just a normal apps, not the heavy consuming apps. Let's quickly open some of the things. Keep an eye on here like a CPU and RAM. Let me quickly show you that. Like a RAM is almost a 1 GB. CPU is here. Sound and audio. Let's quickly open the library office also. I think we are good we opened everything I guess like a main things PDF view education graphics uh, screen grab also so the RAM is almost uh, 1.2 GB and CP is also here so everything is going good uh, just uh, some uh, bit of lag I think just for because of our library office the LXQT desktop environment will handle uh, almost good because it's a lightweight desktop environment you already know 
so let's quickly check the versions and uh, close the apps screen grab board screen grab this is the version let's close it to it pdf view version is here let's close this one also you can't see the version no problem let's close it I think this is a email client I guess so this is the version let's close that one also image viewer Hold. let's close this one also feather notes about let's close this one also so this is uh, let's type in the channel url this is my channel url if you want to subscribe you can subscribe because i'll be posting two videos daily without missing so let's check the version of the feather pad i think we covered everything i guess so this is the uh, process uh, it went down again 931 mb before it was like a when the apps were open it was like 1.2 gb right now it's a 931 mb and cpu is also here as you can see so let's close this thing also i think we covered everything i guess let's check the uh, new wallpapers if it's available let's browse it i think there is nothing uh, different just some of the just a single wallpaper it's nothing is changed here I showed the installation, I showed you the downloading process, I showed you the pro, uh, desktop features, I showed the applications, RAM consuming everything I guess, I completed everything so no need to uh, make a lengthy video. So these are all the uh, apps which comes pre-installed as you can see here. Let's quickly open the Snaptic package manager, the password should be live. and version should be like a 0 0.91 i guess it is taking few seconds here let's check the version about 0 0.91.3 so the installed version will be highlighted with a green box and the installed version will be here so let me quickly scroll it down if you want to slow, uh, see this in a slow speed you can change the playback speed in the youtube to 0 0.25 from 1 you can uh, see properly that so instead of making a lengthy video i made like that i hope you understand that so this is everything we completed everything so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out